Hey guys, welcome to my presentation. Today I'll be analysing different moments in Real Madrid's game, specifically focusing on Cristiano Ronaldo and his phenomenal movement off the ball. This first clip is an El Clasico Super Cup final, where Real Madrid were able to edge out Barcelona in a 3-1 win, with their last two goals coming in the final 10 minutes. Here we see a phenomenal transition from defence to attack, where a number of key decisions ensured that Real Madrid got the goal. Let's take a closer look. A good initial challenge inside the box from the defender won the ball for Real Madrid. And as Tony Cruz runs to gain possession of the ball, he has a quick check of his shoulder, making him aware of the space behind him. In this instance, if he is unaware, he could have just played the simple pass to Modric, which would allow Barcelona to recover. However, he's able to spot Ronaldo and play a nice through ball to him. Ronaldo takes a beautiful touchdown into the path of Isco, ultimately creating a 3v2 situation in favour of Madrid rather than holding the ball up and letting the defenders recover. With the overload now, Ronaldo makes a run outside so that Piquet has to make a decision whether to track him or go to the ball. With a defender in two minds, Isco plays a superbly weighted pass through to Ronaldo. And here he notices that it's a 1v1 situation and Ronaldo bets on himself to beat Piquet. So he drives towards the goal and takes a beautiful touch inside and curling it top right. This next clip is the game against Sevilla in the 12-13 season. Let's analyse Ronaldo's off the ball movement. Ronaldo runs into the space and has a look over his shoulder. Sergio Ramos moves forward with the ball and we can see Ronaldo having another glimpse over his shoulder again. Here he sees that the severe defender is starting to come towards him. The severe defender knows he simply cannot give Ronaldo the space to turn on the ball in that position as Ronaldo is able to draw the severe defender out of his position with his own intelligent positioning. This is the trigger for Ronaldo, and here he just spins, leaving the defender in no man's land, also taking out the right back out of the game. Higuain touches it in front of him. Ronaldo puts in an amazing ball across the box, and they score. Another clip from the same game once again highlights Ronaldo's superb off-the-ball movement and Madrid's ruthlessness in transition from defence to attack. Here, the goalkeeper decides to boot it long. Ronaldo has a look over his shoulder at the right back, who is looking to get up the field after a clearance. Ronaldo knows that it's a 50-50 chance of Madrid winning that ball, so he decides to stay where he is, rather than drop back a little bit further. He knows that now he has a lot of free space. Real Madrid win the header, and here Ronaldo takes a gamble that the defence is going to miss the ball or miss the clearance, anticipating it by running in behind. His gamble succeeds, and now he has a goal-scoring opportunity. He finishes superbly, putting it across the keeper. Looking at that, because of his game awareness, Ronaldo was able to anticipate the mistake and punish the opponents for their mistakes. These different examples can be applied to my own game. By scanning a lot more, I will be more aware of what's going on, allowing me to make a good decision that can help create a goal-scoring opportunity for my team. Here are two examples of how my game awareness caused two different promising chances to break down. In the first clip, I've made a good supporting run into the box, ready for the cross. But because I didn't check my shoulders, as you can see, I was unaware of the time and space I had in the box, deciding to take a snapshot, as I thought I was under pressure. If I had scanned, I would be aware that the defender was over committing, and so was the keeper. So a fake shot or even a cut inside to my teammate there would have resulted in a goal rather than a miss. In the second clip, I have done the majority of the hard work, carrying the ball from my own half. I'd managed to free myself from both defenders trying to tackle me, but instead of taking an extra touch to get in a good cross, I didn't really know what was going on around me since my game awareness was not fantastic. So I panicked and decided to try and put in a cross with one step rather than taking that extra touch and delivering it with power. This caused a turnover in possession rather than a goal scoring opportunity. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.